Hello everybody and welcome to tonight's stream, Friday Night Streaming. I've got a game to play tonight that I've been really looking forward to, a great deal in fact. It's new Pokemon Snap. Now I was a huge fan of the N64 original and I have really been looking forward to this ever since it was first announced. So I haven't played it at all yet, I downloaded it today and... Uh, this is the I, I've just turned it on so when you t load the game for the first time you get to throw your character's name in there and then you're immediately introduced to this cutscene so that is where we're at right now that is uh, that is all that I've done so far I'm about two seconds into the game so um, we'll give people a moment or two to jump on and then we'll get going with it let's see if this holds up to the N64 original it's got a lot to do to meet those standards. I really did love that game. I really, really did love that game on the N64. I actually went and bought the printer even, um, so you may or may not be aware that Nintendo did an uh, arrangement with Fujifilm to bring an app out which allows you to print out these Pokemon photos that you take as you play along on a little kind of Polaroid style printer. So I went and bought that as well. I, I'm all set to get the most out of this game. Hello Diddy, welcome to the stream. It's not Dead or Alive. No, it is not. But I may well play Dead or Alive again in the near future just to get some more photos to print out on that little printer that I was talking about. Because you can do that with any screenshot from any Switch game you've, t you've got. Um, you, you can print out any screenshot whatsoever. And that's pretty good for any game that has a photo mode. So like Dead or Alive Extreme or this one. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this. 200 Pokemon, apparently, to take photos off in this game, which is a huge jump over the N64 original. I think the N64 one had, what, maybe 30, 40 Pokemon? It was really not that many. So this one has a lot more. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, Lens of Short. Very good. Good acronym. His name is Mira. Cool. So, of course, you can't expect too much of a narrative from this game. It's not going to be a visual novel standard. It's not exactly going to be Fate of Morgana. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I mean, you can see right there in the background, there's an Eevee wandering around. It's going to be cute. A very cute little game. And I would expect it to be quite pretty on the eyes. Because if you're going to be taking photos of all these Pokemons, and that's all you do in this game, take photos of Pokemon, if you're going to do that, then you want the game to be pretty aesthetically pleasing. So I will have a review on this uh, of this up on digitydownloaded.net next week. Uh, I only got my copy today, like I said, so obviously I'm not going to be able to review it before the end of the week. I was hoping I'd get an early copy from Nintendo, but they, they ghosted me for this one, unfortunately. They gave some other outlets copies in advance, but they ghosted me. Nintendo does do that sometimes. They just arbitrarily choose not to give me a game. Usually the ones that I'm looking forward to the most. My hope with this is that this game is a um, is a weekend killer because the N64 original Pokemon Snap wasn't a very long game. It was only a couple of hours long. You could spend a lot longer trying to get better quality photos, but the base game was quite over quite quickly. So hopefully this is a weekend buster. I don't want it to be too long because if it's too long, it'll start to drag. Okay, so, still just getting introduced to all the characters, now we're in the lab. Oh look, there's one of those, I can't even remember, remember the name of the, the little not Pikachu electric mouse Pokemon, whatever that is in the little corner there. Can't remember that name. <laughs> Dude's got a gaming chair in the background there. Photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more about them in their ecosystem. See, this game is so much friendlier than um, 
than Pokemon itself because Pokemon's about capturing Pokemon and then battling them. It's all a bit cruel, really. But this one's about leaving them in their natural habitat and just admiring them by taking photos of them. Oh, it's got glowing Pokemon. Excellent. They'll be shinies. That's your research camera there. Neat. There we go. Playing with my camera for the first time. Now let me take a photo of something. Come on, get on with the game. I want to take photos of Pokemon. I want to find Psyducks and Farfetched and any other ducks. Are there any other ducks in Pokemon? Psyduck, Farfetched. Those are the main two. Oh, and Piplup. I've got to get a photo of Piplup. The little, uh, poke, the, the, the penguin Pokemon. I actually have like a dozen stuffed Piplups all through the house now. Oh, cool. We're going to get take a photo of a Butterfree. Give me. So, try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press A to take a photo. Oh, no, that's a Vivillion. Whatever. I'm going to wait. I'm going to get the perfect shot. Come in. Snap. Oops. I think I stunned him. Okay, now we can move the camera. Come on. We don't get enough games that are about taking photos of stuff. There's um, there's the Fatal Frame or Project Zero games, <laughs> slightly more horrific in tone. But oh, Pikachu! Let's get a good photo of the Pikachu. Hey, buddy. Hello. And. Okay. Snap. Yay! <laughs> so cute. It's all cute. Can we zoom? Yes. This is a zoom lens camera. Excellent. Zoom. Up. And snip. Off he goes. Bye, Pikachu. Oh, I see. So there's motion controls as well. I'm not going to be playing with those tonight because, yeah. But when you're in handheld mode, that'll be fun. All right. Covered the basics. Let's get on with this. Oh, okay, so, I mean, one of the big things with the N64 original Pokemon Snap was the fact that at the end of a, a travel, at the end of a level as such, um, you would get your photos rated by, based on how good the quality of the photo was, how much of the Pokemon was in the frame, the action it was doing at the time, so the challenge was to try and get the highest scoring photos possible. They've maintained that system, it looks like, which is good. That was a very compelling mechanic. You would replay levels over and over and over and over again just to try and get a slightly better score with your favourite Pokemon. Uh, Pikachu folder. I think we want the big Pikachu, right? That's much better. And then we got the one photo there. And show the Professor. Come on, mate. Give me a good score. That was a good photo. That was a good photo. So, 
So we get rated for pose, size, direction, placement, other Pokemon around, and the background. I don't know what that is, 500 stars. I assume that's a good score, right? Let's find out. Ooh! 2,900 points. That's a pretty good photo. I can be proud of that photo. I may just have to print that out as my first Pokemon. That's not going to get many points. You can see it's it's not good show, direction. He's not facing the camera. He's not doing anything interesting. He's a bit zoomed out. I'm going to get a very low score for this one. Yeah. But, of course, that was just a practice. So, next time I try and get that butterfly, I'll be able to zoom in and stuff. I wonder if Pokemon Snap ever encouraged anybody to go and get into wildlife conservation and, you know, study animal behaviours and stuff, because it's pretty compelling. It makes a pretty good case for it. Alright, so, Pokemon Snap, you don't actually have free movement. Uh, you're actually in one of these little vehicle things, but at least the original one. I don't know if this one's any different, but... Uh, in the original Pokemon Snap, you're in one of these little vehicles. It kind of traveled on rails around a certain area of the island that you're exploring. And you would take photos until it reached the end of the journey. There are only five or six different paths that you could take with the original Pokemon. I would assume there'd be a little bit more content this time around. Since you've got more Pokemon to take photos of. So it should be a little bit lengthier. Let's go, come on. Let's get on with this. And we're away. Yep, so it will be on rails as well. I won't be able to control the movement much, but I will be able to have free range with the camera. And see, you follow this path. And you need to try to get good photos of Pokemon doing interesting things. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's a Dod Duo there. Hello, buddies. Oh, no, Dod Trio. Where's he going? And I can take 70 photos on this trip from the top right hand corner I'm going to get this butterfly come here, come here, come on oh no, he's not there we go that's better nice big butterfly turn around turn. there's a squirrel that flew by there this is pretty. This is very pretty. Turn around, please. He's not going to. This is very oh pretty. Oh, there's a uh, bug, wormpool. That's fruit. <laughs> yeah, I'm really liking the aesthetics right from the outset. Uh, nicely detailed, colourful environments. Lots of charm. I can't hear the music. Hello, Luke and Chris. Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating on taking photos right now. I'll say hello properly when I get to the end of this level. But thanks for joining the stream. Ah, birdies. Birds are my thing in Pokemon. <laughs> I generally end up with a party which is pretty much all... Oh, that's a mean bird. 
I, I generally end up with a party which is mostly Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon when I play uh, these days. Hello. I'm getting a good close photo there. What else we get to look at? Oh, another. It's a swan. This is great. There's a magic cup there. And a beaver. A bidoof. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is making me feel very nostalgic for the N64 original. <laughs> it's exactly the same game, really. They haven't changed anything of, of significance just yet, from what I've seen. It's just playing on fond memories. There's an owl there. Excellent. Top notch shot there. I do say so myself. Hello. I imagine I'll get better points if I can capture that one when it's flying rather than just standing around. Because again, remember, you want to get the photos of these birds doing, or well, these Pokemon doing interesting things. Like standing on the sign there. Try again. Come on. Okay, that's a good shot. What do we got here? What the heck's that? What's a Comfrey from? I can't even remember ever seeing those in Pokemon. They must be one of the newer generation Pokemon. I can't remember them though. They Sword and Shield. It's a flying ring anyway, whatever it is. That's a red flower Pokemon. Turn around. There we go, thank you. Oh, I see. So when I get to that spot, that's it. This little path is over. I'll be back to main camp then. Turn on. Those things like to turn their backs to you. So there we go. The end of the first tr uh, trip. Best joke in Pokemon. Misty to Team Rocket. Why don't you make like a tree and leave? <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. Uh, and Chris, I'm intrigued by this game, but unsure if I get bored of it quickly. I actually thought that when I first got the N64 original Pokemon Snap, I figured that it'll last me for about five minutes and I'd get sick of it because you just take photos of things, right? But it just has a way of hooking you in because you'll see in a moment when I get all the, all of those photos that I took rated, I am going to want to go back straight away and try and get better scores for some of these Pokemon. And, of course, you can print them out, remember, now. Once you've taken them, you can use your little printer to print your favourite shots out. So, which one will we use? That one, that one, or that one. I'm thinking this one, because it's the full Pokemon. That one is a bit of a better pose, I guess. Okay, let's go with that one. Uh, Wormpool. It's got to be this one. That's too cute. And I think I want to do the one of the birdie on the sign. Looking pretty proud of himself. We'll go with that. We've got the one photo of the swan. We've got one photo of Magikarp. That's not, going to, that's not a good photo. We'll probably have to do something to try to entice the Magikarp closer later on. You do later on get like fruits and things that you can use to entice Pokemon to do things. Bidoof. Uh, maybe this one. That's going to be a terrible scoring one. Doesn't do anything. That's just the one choice. And I did get that one. That's a nice photo, I think. I think. Alright, let's see what we got. Score us. I haven't selected a photo from every folder. Which one did I... Oh, maybe this one. Oh, yes, because I did get an extra photo of... There we go. So you get to you get to have one photo of each Pokemon judged at the end of your trip. Whatever one you think is the best. What do we got? Give us a good score here, please. So, 
We got a good score for the pose because something caught his attention. Oh, good score for the size. Four thousand pointer, so two stars. Excellent. So you can get photos of up to four stars in quality. That's a lot of grinding <laughs> to, to get all of the... There's 200 Pokemon in this game to get four stars for all 200 of them. That's going to be a lot of work. Am I up for the challenge? A better pose? Much better size? Yep, all much better. But still only a one star this time. I like that photo. <laughs> I think that might be my favourite photo from this little trip. Such a cute little worm pool. Give me a good score. You can do it. Ah, oh, only one star. Boo. Uh, that'll also only be a single star. I thought that was a pretty good shot. That's only going to be one star, I reckon, because it's just not very interesting. Oh, uh, but a good one star score. There seems to be different little colours you can get for the stars too, like bronze, diamond, glowy, whatever. This will be like a bronze star, you see. Yeah. Bidoof. Uh, silver star and... Oh, <laughs> that's such a terrible photo. <laughs> this will get nothing, you watch. <laughs> Low scoring one, that one. Maybe there's night trips because he's an owl Pokemon. Maybe at night time you get a better chance to get a decent photo of him. We'll find out. That's a gold star. One, one star, but a gold star effort. Wow. So that was my best photo of my little trip. No less than three star effort. There we go. It does take a while to figure out exactly what the game will reward. Because, yeah, you you got to figure out what kind of photos the game engine decides that it likes. But that's a good first run. So this is new, this wasn't in the N64 one, this research level thing. Because every game needs an RPG mechanic these days. So as the level goes up, Pokemon may behave in ways that you haven't seen before. Fair enough. That's how you get good scores in. And then I deliberately have to go back and try and get one star photos as well. We'll save those photos to album. Uh, which ones do I want to save? I want to keep that one. wonder what resnap does. Oh, I see. So you've got some post post photo options you can take now. You can put Instagram filters on. You can adjust the brightness, the angle, the and retake the photo. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, when you're looking to just kind of get the nice visual images and print out your own little photos. That's a neat feature. But for now, I'm just saving. 
Hello Deus Ex Machina, welcome to the stream and thanks for dropping in even though this isn't really really your game. Um, yeah. We'll no doubt catch you on a, another stream that is more to your taste soon. I definitely want to keep this one. I like that one. I want to keep this one. Now I don't really care for the Comfrey or Flower Pokemon. Even though that was a three star -er doesn't really do anything for me um no nah, just those ones because you're limited in how many of those you can save oops i don't want that okay return to camp It's a pretty funny contrast, actually, <laughs> between Nintendo and Sony this week. Um, Sony releasing its big game as well for the year, really. The first big game of the year with uh, Returnal. And then this Pokemon Snap coming out in the same week. Returnal is a brutally hard roguelike that I would be scared to even try to stream because I, I really struggle in that game. <laughs> really good game, but very difficult, very challenging very good use of the PlayStation 5 hardware. but So if you have got a PS5, then you should probably grab it. But yeah, then, then you've got this one, which is bright, colourful, and very casual, comfy in tone. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> More like Paternal. <laughs> I'm sure Returnal will come out on uh, PC at some stage, Diddy, and then you can play it and realise how brutally hard it is. Is it actually that much like Rogue? Um, no, I mean, it's modern Rogue, like in that it's uh, procedural generation of levels and loot and stuff. There aren't many roguelikes that are actually like Rogue anymore. This is not a roguelike. Photo decks rather than Pokédex. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't care about the story, I want to take photos of Pokemons. Sorry you don't like difficult games. Yeah, Returnal's not for you then. It is very difficult. As somebody who really liked the Dark Souls and Demon Souls and Bloodborne and Sekiro and Neo, especially Neo actually. Neo was a, one of my favourite games in the last decade or so. As somebody who enjoyed all of those... Returnal is still... It's just eye-openly brutal. <laughs> so we go into research. Are we headed out on another expedition already? Yes, we are. You can't stop me, Professor. You can run a scam. No, scan. <laughs> Not scam. It'd be pretty funny if you could turn these into NFTs. <laughs> sell them. Sell your Pokemon photos via NFTs. Would I release a review of a game so hard that I couldn't complete it? I would... I mean, there has been one that I played. Um, the Eternal Castle was a game that in my review itself I just admitted that there was no way I was going to be able to finish it because it was that difficult for me. But I still thought it was a really excellent game. And I actually thought that finishing it was not really kind of the point of it. So, yeah, I, I was comfortable in doing a review of that even though I wasn't able to complete it. Generally speaking, of course, I do <laughs> try to finish games before reviewing them. Otherwise, it becomes difficult to have the full context of what you've played. Come on, I just want to go on another journey. I want to take more photos. I think I've got another tutorial. Sorry. 
scanning. So I can scan by pressing X. Okay, so you can scan something, put a thing over it, and analyze it then. Okay. So would I call this game a great artistic statement? I haven't played it enough to have a decision on that. I like that Pokemon Snap gamifies various activities, I guess, that um, conservationists need to be aware of. I like that it does encourage people to think about nature in that way and encourage people to pick up cameras and take photos of real-world animals. I think that's a good hobby that more people should be doing. Alright, come on. Let me go somewhere. So now I can scan things and find out more information about the areas that I'm traveling around. I'm sure that'll come into play in getting parts of stuff, stuff later on. And... Okay, so here's the map of the island. At the moment, we only have the one location. I can go back there and that's it. That's a pity. I'd like to do something different. But... I've got to do what the game tells me to. Ah, uh, so there does seem to be evening options, so... At least there'll be another time of day. At the, this is day, so there might be a night option later on that unlocks. Let's give this another go. Let's see if we can catch a different angle for some of these Pokemons. So now we can scan... And, oh yeah, you can see little other Pokemon there. By scanning you can, their little names pop up. Let's see if I can grab a quick shot of the Piku. Oh, that's not a very good shot. Oh, there's Buffalo in the background there. Hello. Uh, I remember, because I, the first time around I was so busy on the birds that were on the other side that I didn't look this way. That's pretty cool. So you got to look all around you to find all the Pokemons. Might be something in the water. Nope. No fishies there, but... Oh, I got him when he was uh, stretching, having a yawn. Ah, I see. So a Pokemon probably did that. Okay. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? I just took a photo of the plant at random. Okay. So, I'll, uh, I'll come back to you. Oh, that's a different bird. I'll come back to your comments after I finish this run. I'm trying to get a good... Yes, Piku! Pichu! Pichu! I'm taking mass photos of the guy. Ah! Oh, so, oh, there he is. There he is. I thought he was off. But he was just there. Yeah. 
The Dodrio scared off those Bidoof then. I like how there's lots of um, cute little stories about the animals, the Pokemon, as you go around. I think I missed something to scan then. I did. Unfortunately, I have to do another trip through. And this is how this game gets you. Every time you do a run on something, you get a hint that there's something else that you need to look at yet. Uh, let's try and get a better photo of that thing. Let's try and get a better photo of the Confrey. I think I might have that time. And we're nearly at the end of our little journey here. Alright. How was that Crime Opera game? Actually, funnily enough, the, the, it does pick up. The narrative actually gets better uh, after the bit that we played on stream earlier in the week. I will have a, re a review of that up early next week, and I, uh, I, I did. I, I am enjoying it more now. Those two professors are low-key banging while you're doing snappy snaps. They sure, sure are, I reckon. <laughs> Okay, so we got some new Pokemons. Maybe that one. We got the cow. I think I like this one. Or this one. No, I think I like this one. And it took a thousand photos of this little guy. Oh, you can actually uh, cycle. So that's a two star photo. And there's a one star photo. Two star photo. I'm going to get rated. Um, he's hiding behind a blade of grass. I don't know why that's a two star photo, but let's go with it. It says that I took a photo of an Emolga, which is the squirrel, flying squirrel Pokemon, but he's not in there. That's a dull dud. Let's go with that one. That's a busy photo. And we got a new Dodrio. Yeah, just a one star this time. If Crime Hopper is so good, ways in their right? You'll have to ask the developers about that. They actually reached out to me on Twitter. They watched that stream. Hope I didn't offend them too much. By making jokes about some of their narrative points. Let's see what we got. Grookey. That is a good photo of the Grookey. If you ask me, that deserves a lot of points. Uh, the professor didn't agree with me. <laughs> a Buffalant. What are we getting for this one? Also not a very good score, a bit disappointed by that. I thought it was a magnificently constructed photo. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's hiding behind the leaf of the blade of grass, so that must be a good photo. Capture some personality. Uh, no, that's an inferior photo. So let's just keep the one I took last time. And this is a one star. So you'll remember the first time I did the run, I got a three star for the Dodrio, or two star for the Dodrio. But this time I've got a one star photo instead. So it's a good score, diamond score. But they're now side by side. This is good. This is really, really good fun. 
even if I've only got the one environment so far. Both times going through it was a very different experience. Saw different Pokemon. And we've leveled up. Okay. And just see if I want to save any of those photos. I think... Actually, I think I do want to keep that one. <laughs> Let's try this resnap feature. Let's see what we can do with it. Ah, uh, okay. So you haven't got too much control. But I can zoom for <laughs> I can zoom right in. That's cool. So you won't get better scores for doing this, I imagine, but you do get a lot more control now over the photo. And I can change the brightness. I can change the blur. Photo modes are a big deal in video games these days. So, this is obviously everyone friendly. You don't need to be a particularly good photographer to enjoy this. But the, the features are nice and simple. It's cool. Oh, look at that. Filters. <laughs> Lots of filters. Not very useful filters. That doesn't... Who's going to use those? So there you go. And... I think that's the only one I really wanted to keep from this, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't care about the others. So now we can return to camp. Right. What happens next? Ah, there we go. So now we unlock the nighttime trips. We'll get to see different Pokemon. That's not a very good photo. <laughs> So if we jump into this now, we can... It's the same route. But it's night time now. So let's see what this is like. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Now it's much harder to get good photos at night time. Oh, look. A score bunny. Hey, buddy. Oh, ooh. He's a little fire. His little fire feet. That was my starter in Sword and Shield. I don't know what you all started with, but I definitely started with a score bunny. Cute little animal. Hey, stop running away. Nasty. Sleeping bouffants. What else are we looking at? Humans are animals that live in societies. You are right about that, Diddy. Definitely correct. Wonder if that owl comes out. Oh, something just. Caterpie! One of the original Pokemon from way back in blue and red. 
Got a good photo of him there. Oh, yeah, it's the crows, the muckrows. Forgot about them. It's another bird. So if I can make noise, then I should be able to get something come out there. It was a pin's ear. Toll Terror is asleep. Flying glowing swan. It's a Pidgeot. That's a big pigeon. Hey, pigeon. Turn around, pigeon. Oh, yes. That's a perfect photo of a pigeon. Yeah, I'm seeing all this stuff that's happening around me, especially at night time, that I'm going to have to come back and do another run to try and capture photos of. Squawk, squawk. Ah, oh, there we go. He does come out at night. His big bluey eyes. So we'll get a much better score for him now because the first time he was asleep in his little hole during the day. Going for a walk. It's another hoot. What was that? Oh, B, the the combis. He's back. Ah, oh. catching a photo of that monkey's going to be a pain. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that monkey's going to be an absolute pain to try and take photos of because he keeps disappearing on me. Well, he's not a monkey. He's a bunny, isn't he? Anyway, combi. Oh, he's sitting on the turtle. This might be my best chance. He's having a sleep. Get a good photo, get a good photo, get a good photo. <laughs> I'm happy with that effort. Do I think Nintendo should take art for art's take a sake as a company slogan? Why not? Nintendo does all these wonderfully artsy little games. No other company would do this. Let's see what we got. We got that one. We got our first Caterpie. Ah, interesting. That's a four-star Caterpie photo, but it's not going to... Oh, I see where the Caterpie is. You can see just there. The Caterpie's in the top right corner. Um, that's a four-star photo. But it's not going to score highly, unfortunately, because it's not a good photo of the Caterpie. I think I like this one he's about to take off. They're all just asleep. I'm sure there'll be some way to wake them up to get a better score photo later on. A glowing one. One from behind, unfortunately. That's a two star. Um, which photo do I like the most? I like that one. I'm going with that one. Might not score so well, but I'll go with it. That's a pin seer with two star. 
Not a great photo of a combi, but I'll take it. The Pikachu printer doesn't seem to be sold in the UK. It's on the Oz Instax website, though. Uh, it doesn't come out here until next month. I think it's mid-May. At the moment, you can pre-order it, but you can't actually buy it. So that might be the case. It is going to come to the UK, but just not yet. I don't have the Pikachu one. I've only got the standard printer, uh, but it works. The Pikachu edition is really just a, a skin for the printer. So if that's what you're worried about, then you can just grab any, any of the printers will work from that range. No worries. I like in what I did with this score bunny. I've got some pretty good photos here. I've got to choose which one I want to keep though. Um, which one do I like? I'm thinking maybe that one. I'm going with that one. Tell me what you think, Professor. Sleep and Buffant. Buffalant. Oh, two, two star and gold, no less. Here we go. <laughs> this is going to be such a terrible scoring four star photo. Now you don't see this every, every day with a bit better timing. This would have been great. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Four star, but... All bronze. Terrible scoring photo. Not my finest moment. I like this one. Yep, yeah, got a gold star for that. So, pretty good photo there. I like the framing that I did with this one. Because I, I caught the whole animal, the whole Pokemon in the photo. And it's just framed off-center just nicely. Oh, yes, and I got a diamond score for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, not the best pose, unfortunately. Flying off into the distance like that. Ooh, two star and diamond. Very good. Good job if I do say so myself. That's a better scoring photo. Good. So I will choose that one instead. Get rid of the old one. Hey, Daggerfall fan, will I review the next Pathfinder game? I will, when it comes out. I did really enjoy the last Pathfinder, so... And I like Pathfinder as the RPG. The pen and paper RPG is excellent, so I'll definitely play the next game as well. That's such a dull shot of a combi. Yeah, just a bronze star for that one. Well deserved. I like this score bunny photo. This is a good one. Give me a good score for this, please. Yeah. Diamond. Alright, so after all of that, I get to choose a couple of photos that I want to keep as well. So they actually track the... Uh, levels for each path that you can take separately so I'm level 2 from this route during the day but only level 1 at night I think there's going to be a bit of grinding involved unfortunately the original Pokemon snap was really really good for the fact that 
you could play for a lot of time, but it wasn't really about the grind. It was more just a, a kind of a pure goal to get better scores. But as you can see from this stream tonight, the game's really drip feeding all these little rewards and leveling experience things and all that stuff. And I know that's how modern games work, but uh, it just gets exhausting. And I, I would have preferred they just kept the progression of the N64 one, which I know would seem simple by today's standards, but yeah, you, you don't need to have all this ongoing drip feeding of rewards in every game. They just don't need it. But anyway, that's my one criticism from this stream so far and from this game so far. Let's save a couple of those photos to my album. Um, which ones did I like? I liked that one. Yes, I'll save that. I will... I like this one. They might have their eyes closed, but it's pretty cute. So I'll save that one. I don't really care about the hoot hoot. <laughs> Definitely save that one. Sleeping bunny. And I think that'll be enough. You can only save 41 photos here to the album, so you are pretty limited on that. Return to camp. What's intriguing? Do tell. Something incredible has happened. Energy spikes all over the island. There is a volcano that is pushing up. And we need to stop the eruption. Maybe not. <laughs> Do I think there will be ad XP boosters? <laughs> I really hope not. I don't think so. I mean, that's not really Nintendo style. But they have definitely got all of that stuff in there that if they wanted to, it would fit within the game. And I think that's my issue with it. It's like, if XP boosters would fit within the mechanics that they've given you, then it's probably... It's just all a little bit too arbitrary. And I don't want to criticise the game that I'm obviously enjoying so much and have only played for an hour so far. But, yeah, I, I have issues with the way that modern games are made, unfortunately. In, especially when you can directly compare them to how the originals or the, the older versions of these games were made. The Aldino walking in the background looks so chill. I know, I'm looking forward to my chance to actually get a photo of him. I also like the um, the electric mouse, not Pikachu, the other one. You can see him in the corner of the screen, the right corner of the screen right now. He'll disappear up the top and run across the uh, the the uh, the rail there. See, there he is. He's running across the rail there. He's so cute, this little guy. I can't remember his name, and it's annoying me because he's actually one of my favorite Pokemon. I always have him in the game when I'm playing a game that has him. <laughs> Togidamaru. That that sounds right for at least the Japanese name. Yeah, he's great. I was yeah. You wouldn't think that you need to have two separate electric mice Pokemon, but it absolutely works. He's very different to Poke to, to Pikachu. Pikachu's cute enough as well, but yeah, I like that guy. All right, um, we've come to the hour, and I do need to run. And get other stuff done tonight before I get a bit. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning into the stream. That was really great fun. I, I'm really looking forward to digging more deeply into this over the weekend. I may well stream it again actually tomorrow. Um, because I, yeah, this, this is a game I have been really looking forward to. And so far it's not disappointing on any level. 
I want to thank everybody for being on the stream and chatting with me as we've been playing. Hope it was interesting. Uh, if uh, if you are interested in my review, that'll be up early next week. Otherwise, have a great weekend, everyone. Play lots of games, have lots of fun, and we will see you next time.